Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the effects of refraction in the atmosphere. So we would be discussing about the real and apparent position of the stars and we will also understand that why stars twinkle and why the plan planets don't. So here we have the earth and these are the different layers of the atmosphere. So atmosphere is basically the layer of uh, gases around, around the earth and uh, the layers of the gases they have different density. So let's call this as layer number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now as we go away from the surface of the earth the density of the air decreases. So I am talking about the material density also and I am talking about the optical density also. So that means this would be the densest medium and here we know it is vacuum. So if a ray of light travels from here to here it would constantly keep on bending towards the normal. So medium number one is the highest denser medium compared to all of them and the least denser medium would be vacuum. Then this would be quite denser and compared to 4, 3 would be quite denser, compared to 3, 2 would be more denser and compared to 2, 1 would be more denser, right? Here we have a star. Now what happens is, the light from the star, when it reaches the earth, it has to undergo, it has to pass through all the layers of the atmosphere. So what is going to happen? So let's uh, try to understand that. A ray of light is now falling, this is vacuum. So from vacuum it is entering into this one. So of course this would be the normal and the ray of light would bend slightly towards the normal, right? Uh, slightly it would bend towards the normal and again from here it would slightly bend towards the normal. Again from here slightly bend towards the normal. And finally when it reaches over here and here we have an observer and this ray of light reaches the eye of the observer. So the ray of the light from the star actually keeps on bending, bending, bending and finally coming to the eye of the observer. So now this observer will feel that the last ray which is coming to the eye, I am going to extend that in the backward direction. So this would be the position of the star for this particular observer because the observer's brain and eye would think that this ray is coming from somewhere over here because our brain does not understand refraction, reflection, etc. So this is the real position of the star and this is the image of the star and this is also called apparent position. The image of the star. So this is the real star and this is the image of the star which is created in the uh, mind of this uh, person as we do not understand the refraction. So uh, this is the uh, concept of refraction. Uh, due to the concept of refraction, the stars they are appearing where they are not actually present, right? Okay. So now what, ha what happens is we have lots and lots of turbulence in the atmosphere. Turbulence meaning the disturbance in the atmosphere because the uh, convection currents of the air as well as the density of the uh, gases keeps on changing in the atmosphere. So sometimes the layers become thicker, sometimes the layer become thinner. So what is going to happen is the ray of light which is coming from the star and reaching to the eye of the observer, the amount of light which is coming out of the star, which is also called intensity of light. So the amount of light coming from the star and reaching into the eye of the observer sometimes may increase, sometimes may decrease because of the turbulence in the atmosphere. Suppose some of the layers become thicker, then the light entering the, the light entering the eye of the person becomes less. Because of the thickness of the layer, lots of light would be getting scattered in the other direction. So less amount of light is going to reach over here. And when the layers due to turbulence in the atmosphere becomes thinner, lot of light is going to enter into the eye of the observer. So at that time, the star would be appearing as a comparatively brighter star. So sometimes the stars appear brighter, sometimes they appear, I mean, less brighter, faint stars due to the turbulence in the atmosphere. That's why there is a shining uh, effect. That's why the stars, they uh, twinkle due to the refraction effects. Hopefully you understood that. And now if we talk about the planets, now planets are big, actually stars are not this much small, stars are even bigger than the sun, 
even bigger than the earth but stars are comparatively very very far away from the earth that's why i have drawn a star very small now planets planets are comparatively bigger in size because they are very near to the earth stars are very far away even though they are bigger than the sun and the earth they appear smaller <clears throat> because they are far away this is planet now we can consider star to be a very small object point object point sized object because they are very far away but you can consider a planet to be made up of many such point sized object because we can see the planets comparatively bigger because they are nearer to us now lots and lots of lots and lots of light coming from the star it reaches the surface of the earth meanwhile some of the light also gets cut off but anyhow since the uh, planets are nearer so even though the some of the light gets cut off we do not feel the total effect of the we do not feel the cut off effect of the uh, planet because they are comparatively more nearer so lots of light coming over here even though some of the light actually goes away we don't feel any kind of twinkling effect so due to the distance we do not find planets to be comparatively twinkling and another thing is that the stars are most of the stars they are luminous they have their own light whereas the light coming from the planet it is the reflected light of the sun right okay so this is the first part in which we are going to talk about we have already talked about the twinkling of the stars and uh, why don't the planets twinkle and now in the next part of the video we will be talking about the another aspect the sunrise and sunset concept of refraction